Isabel's currently sleeping, excuse the attire, but it's like 8 o'clock in the night. But I'm awake and so I thought I would film Isabel's Christmas stocking stuffers. She'll be 22 months um, at Christmas. So these are the things I've got her for her stocking and hopefully some of you may find it helpful, helpful for ideas. So I'll get straight to it. Um, this is her stocking. It's quite a decent size for her age. Just got a little Santa on the front and you can put a picture in here. This is her last year, um, but I'll be putting an up-to-date one for this Christmas in there closer to the time um, and I got this stocking from a charity shop last year for literally like 50p or something like that, really cheap. Um, so I'll just get straight on to the fillers. Um, so first of all I have got some flashcards, I've been wanting to get these for a while because she's getting quite verbal now so I think it'll really improve her vocab to go through these like once a day or something. They were £5 from Amazon. Next we have a Peppa Pig roll on body paint. She's really into Peppa Pig and into her bath crayons at bath time so she'll like that. Next we have some bubbles. I got these from Tesco's for a pack of five, I think, and they were £1.50 for five of them. So she'll like these. She recognises that these are bubbles, so she'll know what they are. Next, I just have this little hairbrush from Asda. Just says, Pur no, pour some with a cat on it. And this was £1.50. Um... She's got really curly hair and right now I'm using my own hairbrush but I thought it's about time she had her own and she does try to like brush her own hair as well so this is a better size for her. Next I just have one of these like snap bracelet things. I don't know if you remember them from when you were little but they used to be all the rage when I was little. Um, this was £3.50 in Tesco's, which I didn't realise. I thought it was like a pound because it was in like a pound section, so I just grabbed it. I wouldn't have normally paid £3.50 for something like that, but oh well. It is Christmas after all. Um, next, we just have these uh, pack of like animal figurines, like all sorts of different safari animals. She doesn't really have anything like this, so... I think she'll like that and they were a pound from Tesco's. Sorry if I'm rushing, this is the third time I've filmed this because my phone keeps cutting off because I haven't got much storage. Um, next from Poundland, there's just these little heart shaped bangles, she likes to put things on her wrist and like walk around with them on. Um, I think there's about 12 in there, all different colours, so they were a pound from Poundland. Um, next I've got this. Olaf musical book that you press the sides on. This was £2 from Asda. And then these last two things are like sticking up at the top of the stocking. So from Tesco's, it's just this like, see all the like glitter running down. I thought she might like to look at that. It's quite like sensory. Um, I think that was a pound from Tesco's also. And then this thing, I had one of these when I was little as well. Yeah. Makes that funny noise. I think this was also a pound from Tesco's. So those two long things like stick out the top. Um, and yeah, that is everything that's in there at the moment. I do want to put a treat in there, like a chocolate Santa or some chocolate coins, and maybe just like a little sheet of stickers or something because she likes stickers. But apart from that, it's pretty much done. The stocking's full with all that stuff in, so there's not much more. I can fit in and I think that's plenty for her age so I hope you have got some tips or some ideas that can help you with your toddler stocking and thanks for tuning in to my video and I'll see you again soon thank you bye